from time to time when, you know, in the, in the GIC, we had to deal with certain investment matters that involved past relationships mm. with business leaders, with mm. families, you know. He would always tell me, always honour your friendship with people. Never forget your friends, the people who helped you when you were down, you know. He said that. When you were never as fortunate, so never forget that. Mm. You know, and, and I've seen in action how, you know, time and again, when we had to deal with business matters that involved a past relationship, he will always emphasize the importance of honoring that relationship, that even as we had to move on, he wanted to make sure that we explained this, you know, to the person that we have dealt with in the past. So there is this uh, great, uh, you know, uh, concern for relationships. Mm. But above all, I mean, he had this great dream for Singapore. I remember one evening after our meditation session, you know, quite often when, when we finished, I would pack up my things and get ready to go and he would say, no, stay for a while, you know. And then we would just chat about various things. I remember on one occasion, I said, you know, this afternoon before I came, there were rumours swirling around town that you were seriously ill in hospital. Mm. And here I am sitting down with you meditating and I know you're perfectly all right. Mm. <laughs> so I said, don't you think we should put up, a government should put up a statement to, you know, to, to rebut the rumours that you are seriously ill in hospital? Mm. He says, no, no, Gok Song, uh, no point, because one day it's going to happen. <laughs> you know, it's quite a... Um. And then he said, you know, he says, uh, I've lived, you know, uh, I mean, he'll be 90 this year. At that time, he was about 88. He says, I've lived such a long life. And, and he says, I hope that I can live on for maybe another five to seven years. So, so I said, I said uh, mm. he says, by then, by then, you know, he says, the, the, uh, the Marina Bay developments would be completed. You know, the, the water barrage would be operating. And, uh, you know, the whole Tanjung Ru area, the reservoir would be finished. And, you know, and he says, our entire, the landscape is going to be changed. You know, the, the city is going to be so beautiful, you know. Mm. So, I mean, so he, he has this desire, he, you know, he's always looking forward to Singapore's future progress. Mm. And it's as though he has captured this in his imagination, in his mind. And he was just hoping that it will happen before he passes on. <laughs>